Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world. My guest was a paramedic in an ambulance. And one day, God speaks to him and says, I want you to pray for the sick in the ambulance. And he doesn't even believe in healing. But it's God. So he starts praying. His first four or five hundred people, no one got healed. And then all of a sudden, God started giving him dreams from heaven on how to pray for the sick. He gets something like 80% of the people healed now. Anyone interested in those results? Yeah. Now, many of you have uh, read our, our web page or a blog called The Praying Medic. And because he's on an ambulance and because uh, he wants to protect the privacy of those people he's praying for in those circumstances, uh, he's used that as a pen name. He's never revealed his name. He has never revealed his face for those obvious reasons. We've been after him for two years. He finally said, OK, Sid, we're going to come on your show. I want to introduce to you for the first time Dave Hayes, otherwise known as the Praying Medic. <laughs> so, so let me tell you a, a kind of a thumbnail sketch of Dave's background. Uh, raised Catholic. Uh, at 12, he became an atheist. You hated the name of Jesus. I, I did. I, I hated the name of Jesus. Uh, very early on as a teenager, I, I, I couldn't say the name without loathing and disgust. Uh, you're a paramedic for some 30 years, and one Memorial Day, two of your buddies tell you to read the same book, but you're not going to have any time. And this Memorial Day. Do you know how many calls medics get on Memorial Day? But this, this was, let's see, I think you were in the fire department at that time, were you? I was. Yeah, you were. And it, well, you know how many fires and things happen on Memorial Day? You'll be too busy to read this book. The book is called Left Behind. Do you know how many full calls they got at the firehouse that day? None for 48 hours. None. <laughs> You read the book. What effect did it have on I you? I had to do something. I had 48 <laughs> hours with no calls. You're an atheist. And, and I'm an atheist. <laughs> and uh, I, I had gotten into some, some personal problems with my paramedic partner. Uh, my, my pride had kind of gotten the better of me and destroyed our friendship. And uh, these guys had said, hey, you know, you might be interested in this, in this book, Left Behind. And I thought, I don't read fiction. But I picked it up and I took it to the fire station and I read it. And in the book, The Gospel of Love, is in this story and I started to read it and I got so convicted of the sin and the wrong things I'd been doing my whole life. And this presence showed up in the room, the presence of God. I didn't know what it was at the time. And he started to speak to me and he said, you know, if you're such a good person, what about all these sins that you've done, the lies and all this other stuff? And I knew that night I had to make a decision. I, I could literally feel as if I did not make a decision to follow God that day, I would spend eternity in darkness. So with a lot of weeping and a lot of soul searching that night, crying literally on a wet pillow, and I said, God, God if you are, are real, real, give me a voice give me to a follow voice and I'll follow you. And I will follow you. This voice was blowing through my soul, this peaceful, serene voice that was speaking to me about how to treat people with love and compassion and kindness. And uh, that was how I met the Lord. 25 years, 
Dave had not had a dream. His wife prays for him, and he has a dream. What did God tell you? He said to me, I'm going to show you what's wrong with your patients. I want you to pray with them, and when you do, I'll heal them. Now, the funny thing about this was just two months earlier, I had a disagreement with my wife about healing and miracles. She insisted healing and miracles were for today. I said, no, they're not. I don't know anyone who's had a miracle. I don't know anyone who's been healed. I've never seen a good testimony. So, you know, God has a funny sense of humor. He's, you know, a couple months after we have this argument, he says, oh, I am doing miracles and I'm going to do them through you. Okay, so what would you do? You would start praying for the sick. But he prays for hundreds and no one is healed. But then God started giving you something like 400 dreams on how simply to pray for the sick. And what, uh, what results did you start getting as he started feeding you this simple well, information? <clears throat> this, this, the dreams that I had really displayed how wonderful and loving and good he is to his kids. Because I would come home after praying a week with everybody in the ambulance, nobody was healed. Why did you keep it up though, really? <laughs> because he'd give me another dream. I'd go to sleep, I would have a dream, I'm praying for people in the ambulance, and they're getting healed. I'd wake up in the morning and go, I really don't want to do this anymore. But he kept giving me dreams and giving me dreams where I was praying for people and they were being healed. So I figured eventually if I keep praying, someone's going to get healed. Now, did God, when he started healing people, did God do that other part? He would show you what was wrong with he, them? He did. The first person I ever saw healed immediately uh, was kind of a strange circumstance. I was uh, on duty in the ambulance. I went into a grocery store to get a bottle of Gatorade because it was summer and it was hot. And as I'm waiting in line, for some reason I closed my eyes and I saw in my mind's eye the word headaches. And I thought, well, that's strange. And then I saw a picture of a woman with blonde hair. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know what this is. But then I opened my eyes and the woman in the vision was the woman in front of me at the mm -hmm. checkout stand. And so I thought, okay, well, maybe God wants me to pray yes. for her. Do you happen to have a headache? I do have a headache. How, how did she know that? Well, I'm the guy that was sent from God to heal you. <laughs> so. I, but you prayed for so many people that weren't healed. You couldn't have been very confident. And I, I wasn't. I had no confidence at all. But this was my first word of knowledge. So the Lord said, I want to heal her. You pray for her. And I, my faith just, boom, rocketed up. I had so much faith for healing at that point, even though the last three or 400 people weren't healed. So she had a headache, and she had actually was buying some uh, Tylenol and a bagel so she could take them to get rid of the headache. Well, I prayed for her and her headache was gone. That was my fir the first miracle. How, what did you think when you, a man that says God doesn't do miracles anymore, a man that's tried and tried and tried, nothing's happened. What happened with that first success inside of you? It Dave? absolutely changed my life. I started to see more and more miracles and, and then it just grew. The more I kept praying, God gave me more dreams. He showed me some different techniques. He showed me some obstacles that people have to healing. Um, just he started to, to give me a little more revelation about how healing works, the dynamics of it. And as I kept praying for people, we, I saw more people healed. I have to tell you, I sat under your teaching and there's something supernatural about it. Oh, it's got to be. It comes from God. And right after I sat under the teaching, I went to the grocery store. First three people I prayed for, I didn't get 80 percent healed. All three of them. Where in, I don't know, it's something that childlike faith that you teach from and that simple teaching. In fact, when we come back, would you do a little teaching on um, revelation that God's given you on how people can be healed? And I can tell you right now, there's someone with a back problem and a neck problem, anything you have bone wise that is hurting, you test it and see the goodness of God. You are healed. In Jesus' name, and when we come back, I'm going to have him teach a little bit of what God showed him. Be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. 
Call now and get the Praying Medics, The Supernatural Made Simple Package, which includes Dave Hayes' two powerful books, Divine Healing Made Simple and Seeing in the Spirit Made Simple, plus his two audio CD teachings, Keys to Hearing God's Voice and Keys to Traveling in the Spirit, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9380. Through the Praying Medics how-to book, Divine Healing Made Simple, you will clearly understand that healing is something every believer can do. Learn the simple keys God has revealed to Dave Hayes on how to receive your healing and how to heal others. Learn how to develop and fine-tune the use of the gift of words of knowledge, a springboard for evangelism. Through the Praying Medics book, Seeing in the Spirit Made Simple, you will understand that seeing in the Spirit is not a gift, but an ability that you can begin to develop. Begin to see angels that are assigned to you. Start to operate with discerning of spirits and in deliverance. Exercises at the end of key chapters within both books will help you develop your ability to release God's healing power and walk in the supernatural of God every day. Through his anointed teaching on audio CD, Keys to Hearing God's Voice, you will understand the many ways in which God speaks. Learn to hear what God is speaking to you when you're awake and when you're sleeping. Understand how to act upon his instructions and promptings like never before. Get ready to enter into the realm of God's control of time and space through the Praying Medics audio CD teaching Keys to Traveling in the Spirit. Through it, you will learn how this can be used to reveal the kingdom of God and help you fulfill God's heavenly assignments. I tell you, his two books will cause you to be able to walk in divine health. It's time to beat sickness, suffering, and despair, and to step into what Jesus did. Now is the set time to get the Praying Medics The Supernatural Made Simple Package, which includes Dave Hayes' two powerful books, Divine Healing Made Simple and Seeing in the Spirit Made Simple. Plus his two audio CD teachings, Keys to Hearing God's Voice and Keys to Traveling in the Spirit, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9380. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9380 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. So uh, the praying uh, medic, Dave Hayes, is in his ambulance, and now he's getting people healed of more than headaches. Tell me about the Muslim man that was in your ambulance. That was an amazing encounter that God completely set up. So I went on a call. It was a transfer from one hospital to another. This man had, uh, he had a, a, an extensive health history. He had kidney failure, he was on dialysis. He had a GI bleed that had been going on for three days and his hematocrit and hemoglobin were critical. He'd pretty much almost bled to death. So the emergency doctor transfused six units of blood, called for us to transport him to another hospital for surgery. So uh, we get him in the ambulance and I'm looking at his hospital face sheet and I see that he's a Muslim. And I thought, there's no way this guy's gonna let me pray for him. <laughs> But uh, we, we were getting to know each other, having some conversation. And I said, hey, I'd, I'd like to know if I could pray for you. I sometimes see people healed. What do you mean by healed? I pray for people to be healed. God heals them. That's fine. That will be cool. What's bothering you the most right now? Oh, I have this killer headache. And I just prayed for him. I said, I command this. Headache took him out in Jesus' name. And I asked him how the pain was. He said, it's about a seven. I said, I'm gonna pray again. I prayed again. After the second time, it was about a five. I prayed again, it was about a three. I prayed one more time. The pain Persistence wow. is the key. And he pain said all the pain was gone. His headache was gone. gone. And I said, well, you just got healed by a Jewish carpenter who died 2,000 years ago. <laughs> he says, you're a Christian, aren't you? And I said, well, yes, I am. He goes, you know, there's something about you Christians. I just want to let you know that Jesus couldn't be God. And I said, look, I don't want to argue with you about religion. I want to get you healed. So I said, look, you've got some serious bleeding going on. They're going to do surgery. Can I pray over your, your abdomen to be healed? He said, sure. So I prayed over his abdomen and uh, he didn't feel anything different. Uh, we dropped him off in the ICU at the other hospital. A couple of days later on my day off work, I went into town to check up on some of the patients I'd prayed for. I went into his room 
And I said, hey, how you doing, man? Hey, it's the praying medic. How are you doing? They're going to send me home. What did they find? Nothing. I said, what do you, what do you mean? He said, they, when I got here, they did endoscopy, they did more CAT scans, they checked my blood, they did everything. They couldn't find anything wrong with me. As far as my internal bleeding goes, they didn't do surgery. They made me stay a couple of days to make sure there was nothing wrong with me, but they're sending me home because I'm completely healed. And, and, and I said, you know what? You need new kidneys. So let me pray for your kidneys, because he was in kidney failure. He was on dialysis. So I prayed for his kidneys. That was probably the most amazing miracle that I've seen in the ambulance. Well, I, I have to tell you something. I believe you had fun. I, it was great. It was a kick. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, tell me. Now, you've had some 400-plus dreams from heaven on how to pray for the sick. Uh, give me one or two nuggets that are going to help people right this minute. Well, the first thing that I had to learn was that God has already given me and you and all those people all the power, all the authority they need to heal. So we don't need to beg God for healing. We simply, Jesus said, go heal the sick. He didn't say, beg my father to heal the sick. He said, go heal the sick, raise the dead. So what I do, what I teach people is just go out and command sickness to leave. Command? Command. I command sickness to leave. I command disease to leave. I command the shoulder to be healed. I command neck pain to leave. I command bones to be healed, ligaments healed, nerves healed. You don't have to know a lot of anatomy, but to command the body's structures to be healed and command sickness to, is to leave is a great place to start. You will see very good results right away. Now I heard you say you just kept praying. You wouldn't stop. Is, is, is that important? It is. And one of the other keys to operating successful in healing is persistence, okay? So in Luke chapter 11, right after Jesus taught the disciples how to pray, he taught them how to persist. Persistence is just something we have to learn how to do. Now, you, you teach on a subject. Frankly, I've never heard anyone teach on this subject. And as a matter of fact, for an atheist, that didn't believe in healing. You come a long way, Dave. I have <laughs> had an interesting journey. <laughs> but you teach on something which I've read in the Bible, traveling in the spirit. Uh, well, uh, Philip, when he prayed for the Ethiopian eunuch, the next moment he was in another city. Tell, tell me what this traveling in the spirit is. So a few years ago, the Lord started giving me dreams about traveling in the spirit, about being picked up and located somewhere else and dropped off for whatever his purposes were. It seemed to me like there was a lot of people who are having these experiences, but either they don't know that it's God or they don't understand the purpose for it. Well, you, you know, you talk about areas that few talk about, but you make it so simple and it's so biblical. Wait till you find out about the dream that Dave had about our healthcare system. Be right back. Right back to It's Supernatural! Turn to It's Supernatural. I'm uh, Sid Roth here with Dave Hayes, otherwise known as the Praying Medic. Uh, you had a dream about our health care, Obamacare. This is very important to many people that are watching. What did God show you? Well, basically the dream suggested that God wants to do something with our health care that is completely different what the government wants for our health care. And I think one of the things that the Lord wants to impress upon us is the fact that we're relying too much on insurance companies, on doctors, on the government to provide health care for us when Jesus came to be our healer. 
He is raising up an army. There are thousands of people out there in America, tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, who are learning to operate in the supernatural. They're learning about healing, learning about words of knowledge. They're learning the, the kingdom uh, principles that they need to release healing. If we had 100,000 believers out there in the world who would just pray for people to be healed, we, we could probably close down some hospitals. We probably wouldn't need as much health care insurance. And I think that's the Lord's heart is he wants us to rely on him to be our health care system. Here's the big question I have for you, Dave. Uh, you, you had an amazing experience. God himself told you to pray for the sick. Is what you're learning and teaching transferable? Can people get the same or better results than you? You're getting some 80% healed now. Uh, can people do the same, just the average person? I think they can do better. I'm an average person. I'm, I didn't go to Bible college. I didn't go to seminary. I work as a paramedic. I work 48 hours a week. Uh, I'm an average person. I don't have any special anointing. I have a bunch of dreams, and I've prayed for a lot of people. But anyone can do this. The, the principles that Jesus gave us are simple. They're not complicated. And as we grow and as we practice, I really do believe, I, I've got a lot of testimonies from people, and they said, this is so easy, it's so simple. Why do people make it complicated? And, and I don't think it needs to be complicated. I, I agree. Could you briefly tell me the craziest miracle you've ever had? The craziest miracle I've ever had? Okay. So a lot of what I do as ministry is done on Facebook. I, I'm connected to a lot of people. I got a prayer request on Facebook for, from a woman who went to a church. Her pastor was in kidney failure. He had gone into the hospital. The doctors, well, he was on kidney medication, and he stopped taking his medication because he wanted to have a show of faith for his congregation that he was going to be healed. Well, he ended up in kidney failure, and the doctor said, you're going to need dialysis. Your kidney's shot. So she sent me a prayer request, and she said, would you please pray for my pastor? And I said, sure. That afternoon, I did a short prayer, a couple of minutes, prayed for him. That night, I had a dream. In the dream, I saw a man standing about 20 feet away from me, and I knew that he needed a new kidney. He had a surgical opening in his side, right below his rib cage. I walked over to him, I put my hand inside of his abdomen. I could feel his internal organs. And then I pulled my hand out, and the dream ended. Now, I woke up in the morning, and my wife and I were trying to figure out what this dream meant. I completely forgot about the fact that I prayed for a man the day before who needed a new kidney. It didn't make sense. It didn't click. Until I got an email or a private message on Facebook from that woman who said, praise report, uh, our pastor had his kidneys tested again, and his, the doctor said his kidney is functioning 100% normally. You know, I believe that if the praying medic will pray just a short minute prayer commanding, commanding the spirit of infirmity to leave and commanding s sickness to leave, that thousands, if not tens of thousands, are going to be healed right now. Would you pray? I will. I pray that God is going to bring complete and total healing for you from whatever disease, whatever infirmity, whatever sickness, whatever trauma you are suffering, that as you listen to this message, the Lord is going to release you from that bondage. He is going to heal you. He is going to give you joy. And you're going to have an amazing testimony to the goodness of God. And I charge you that it's not an accident you're watching this show right now. Dave already said he's just an average person. God wants to take the, non -pe the people that are not on TV, that consider themselves no nobodies, to walk in miracles every day. So I charge you, only believe. Read the Word. Only believe. All, A-L-L. -L. All things are possible to those who believe. That's you. <laughs> Have you ever asked questions like these? Why is it that God hasn't healed me? Why are my prayers ineffective when I ask God to heal others? Can I really see into the invisible world of the supernatural? How can I really hear God's voice clearly? Hi there. Look, I don't have a seminary degree. I did not go to Bible college. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a professional minister. Just an average guy working an average job. But I see the supernatural happen every day. I see people healed. I see visions. I travel in the spirit. The Lord gives me prophetic revelation. 
These are the things that the Lord has taught me. I'm an average person. And if you do the things that I've put into my books and my CDs, you can do the same things yourself. Call now and get the Praying Medics, The Supernatural Made Simple Package, which includes Dave Hayes' two powerful books, Divine Healing Made Simple and Seeing in the Spirit Made Simple, plus his two audio CD teachings, Keys to Hearing God's Voice and Keys to Traveling in the Spirit, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9380. Through the Praying Medics how-to book, Divine Healing Made Simple, you will clearly understand that healing is something every believer can do. Learn the simple keys God has revealed to Dave Hayes on how to receive your healing and how to heal others. Learn how to develop and fine tune the use of the gift of words of knowledge, a springboard for evangelism. Through the Praying Medics book, Seeing in the Spirit Made Simple, you will understand that seeing in the Spirit is not a gift, but an ability that you can begin to develop. Begin to see angels that are assigned to you. Start to operate with discerning of spirits and in deliverance. Exercises at the end of key chapters within both books will help you develop your ability to release God's healing power and walk in the supernatural of God every day. Our producer has read many books on healing, many seminars and courses, and she said, this is the first one in which I instantly felt I could do what he's talking about. Through his anointed teaching on audio CD, Keys to Hearing God's Voice, you will understand the many ways in which God speaks. Learn to hear what God is speaking to you when you're awake and when you're sleeping. Understand how to act upon His instructions and promptings like never before. Get ready to enter into the realm of God's control of time and space through the Praying Medics audio CD teaching, Keys to Traveling in the Spirit. Through it, you will learn how this can be used to reveal the kingdom of God and help you fulfill God's heavenly assignments. I tell you, his two books will cause you to hear God's voice, will cause you to have breakthroughs in traveling in the Spirit, will cause you to be able to walk in divine health, will cause you to be able to lay hands on the sick, and as the Bible says, you will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. It's time to beat sickness, suffering, and despair, and to step into what Jesus did. Now is the set time to get the Praying Medics The Supernatural Made Simple Package, which includes Dave Hayes' two powerful books, Divine Healing Made Simple and Seeing in the Spirit Made Simple, plus his two audio CD teachings, Keys to Hearing God's Voice and Keys to Traveling in the Spirit, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $45. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9380. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9380 or log on to Sid SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. I am mad with a godly anger over what the devil is doing to marriages, what the devil is doing to children, undermining their faith, what the entertainment industry is doing to families. I am angry, and my guest has come up with a supernatural way to devil-proof our families. Do you want to know this? Yeah. Me too.